Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Thoughts, positive or negative, grow stronger when fertilized with constant repetition. Your attitude will determine the quality of your life. We are all faced with a series of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. Each day of our lives, we make deposits in the memory banks of our children. Real integrity stays in place, whether the test in adversity or prosperity. When the Lord makes it clear you are to follow Him in this new direction, focus fully on Him and refuse to be distracted by comparisons with others. Joy is a deeply felt contentment that transcends difficult circumstances and drives maximum enjoyment from every good experience. Deep, contented joy comes from a place of complete security and confidence even in the midst of trial. The lens of fear magnifies the size of uncertainty. Learning more truth is a poor and cheap substitute for stopping and putting into action the truth already learned. Vision is the ability to see God's presence, to perceive God's power, to focus on God's plan in spite of the obstacles. God never calls his people to accomplish anything without promising to supply their every need. God presents the Sabbath Rest is a shelter we can enter. When God's in it, the job gets done. Whatever we do, we must not treat the Great Commission like it's the Great Suggestion. When I have a wrong attitude, I look at life humanly. When I have a right attitude, I look at life divinely. People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. Choose to view life through God's eyes. Like sin itself, Satan appeals to the senses. He originated and perfected the art of disguising evil as good. To require God to prove that he is able and willing to fulfill his promises would be proof positive that one does not trust him. Let your passion become a passionate pursuit of me, and as you follow, the sheep will follow. Faith itself cannot accomplish anything. Yet without faith, no one can fly. It's not enough merely to believe there is a God. You must believe in the God who is there. When we panic, we instinctively turn to our own internal resources because we doubt Him. God uses those who seem ill-fitted for a significant life. Man is the only animal that when you pat him on the head, his head swells up. The glory of God is a man fully alive and the life of a man consists in beholding God. Because of Jesus, we can view life as a series of great opportunities 
brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Worry about nothing. Pray about everything. Sound advice comes from veterans of pain. A selfless devotion, high impact people don't care about who gets the credit, and they never complain about the role they fill. If your motive is in any way to promote greatness for yourself, you're in the wrong calling. Nothing can compensate for a lack of authenticity. We don't like waiting, but that's when God does some of his best work on our souls. If you allow it, can be the means by which God brings you his greatest blessings.